Good day and welcome to our short explanation of how to install, how to source and install correctly the latest Office 365 uh, ADMX GPO templates. So it's easy enough, uh, and this applies whether you're trying to actually, uh, we're going to specifically do this with Office, but it applies to whether you're doing it for, you know, uh, well, we're really for anything, whether you're doing it for Windows 10 or for anything else. But for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to do it for Office. So easy enough. What you do is just Google Office 365 GPO download. That will take you to here, which is awesome. And uh, you download it. And after you've downloaded, you'll get a, a self-extracting file. So you simply download and execute it. I've already done that. When you're done, what you'll end up with is this. Uh, you'll end up with an AD and admin folder, an ADMX folder, and an Excel file. The Excel file simply explains all of the GPOs. I'm not going to go into it because it changes all the time. Feel free to go into it and look around. Uh, the admin folder is, is uh, what contains the OPAX files, and they are the configuration files that you would use with the Office configuration tool. That's not relevant here, so we're going to ignore it. Most people will not be using them. That's not what you're doing. What we really care about is the ADMX folder. And in there, there's going to be a whole lot of languages you don't care about. Uh, what we care about in for this, for the purpose of uh, this particular video, and for me personally, is the ENUS. That's English US. Uh, all of the other ones can just be deleted. And I'm going to do just that because I don't care about them. And it's not that they're not valuable. They're just not valuable to me. So if I was German, I'd probably just want the German folder. Anyway, so this is what we end up with. Now, what do you do with these files? Well, these are the ADMX files that contain uh, all of the rules, basically, all of the GPOs, uh, the configuration that's available. And the ENUS folder is just the language folder, and it contains ADML files. You might guess that L stands for language. So there you go. So now what do we do? Well, what you should do is take these files, just copy the entire thing, copy, and minimize that. We'll get rid of that. We don't need that either. And then go to your C, Windows, Sysvol, which is, where is it here? Sysvol, there it is. Sysfall DFSR, and then into Domain, and then into Policies, and then in Policies, you'll see a lot of stuff. What you want to do is drill into Policy Definitions, and in here, this is where all of your policies are. And something that confuses a lot of people is the fact that Microsoft has decided, for consistency's sake, to not release, I want to emphasize that word, not release GPOs for Office 2019, or for Office Pro Plus. And you think, well, then what are we talking about? Well, they actually have released GPOs, but as far as the system is concerned, as far as the GPO system is concerned, they're all 2016. So it's just the 16 stuff. So if you go through here and you, you look and you say, why do I have an Access 2016 uh, ADML, but not an Access 2019 ADML, or an Office 365 Pro Plus ADML, that's for consistency's sake, Microsoft has decided that uh, all of these policies, ADMXs will, and ADMLs will be 16. And the, let's look at the language files, just see when they were last updated on this particular domain. Uh, not so long ago, so not so bad. So I'm just gonna open up the ADMX folder here, copy all of these, and just drag them over, right click, copy, Copy and replace, do this for the next 10, sure, copy. Do this for all items, copy, continue. There we go, there we go. So let's go take a look at the language. Yeah, they've been updated to yeah, just a few weeks ago, uh, which was the latest build for Microsoft. And that is how you correctly update your ADMX uh, templates, your group policy templates. Now, if you have more than one domain controller, and you probably do, you certainly should have, uh, you're going to have to wait for these to replicate. Or you can go into sites and services and force a replication. That's, however, not something you really have to, uh, it takes very long and it's beyond the scope of this course. So we're just not going to bother taking up your time with that. Uh, at this point, what you want to do is go into your group policy management console, the classic GPMC, and take a look and see what's there. If you already have it open, you're going to need to press F5 to refresh it or go up to the menus and refresh. 
Other than that, you're good to go. All right, so have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.